are Nikki and Carlo and our family live in Positano, Italy, nearly 500 steps from the road but surrounded by fruit and olive trees and with a fabulous view. Our garden overlooks the sea and we grow our own food. We show you what life is really like on the Amalfi Coast. So please subscribe and welcome to the Positano Diary. is the day that we start our drive to England and we hope to be on the road by eight o'clock this morning. It's now quarter past eight and Carlo's still in the bathroom but that's okay we're not in any rush we're gonna try and make our way up to North Italy today we're hoping to arrive at maybe Rapallo somewhere on the Riviera um, it should be about an eight hour drive so we'll get there eventually. Carla is going to go down the road with the big bags and I'm going to go up the road to get the car and drive down to meet him so that he doesn't have to climb up 500 steps with the big bags. What's happening? Am I leaving? Quite a bit of stuff is already in the car because the last couple of days anything that we've had that we thought oh this is going to England we've just left it in the car so it's probably quite full already. There's some presents and stuff that we'll be getting rid of along the way and we've got a car, we can fill it if we want. I do enjoy traveling a lot, but I hate leaving. I hate the whole fact of leaving the house. I don't know, it makes me really anxious and it makes me want to cancel all my plans, but usually, once I've started and I'm on my way, I'm absolutely fine. It's just walking out the door that's difficult. Especially after a long time when you're really settled at home. And obviously in the last couple of years, none of us have uh, traveled much at all. So I'm pretty settled here at the moment. And I always find it very unsettling when I have to finally come back, settle back in again. It takes a while. Anyhow, I'm heading up to the car with Holly. Carlo is carrying the bags down the 800 steps to the road below in town and I will drive around to meet him. It's just so much easier carrying heavy stuff down even though it's more steps. So I've got 500 to go up, he's got 800 to go down. Holly had a little moment earlier. I think she thought I was leaving her and she went all shaky and trembly and very depressed until she suddenly understood that Holly's coming too. Yes, you are, aren't you? Are we gonna go see Grandad? Ciao, caro. Grazie. Ciao, ciao. <laughs> okay, you need to calm down. You're with us. We're not abandoning you. We're not leaving you. Now you have to relax, okay? Can you do that?
arrived in Rapallo, which is on the Italian Riviera, up near Genova, exactly where we wanted to get to today. Ci siamo incrociati, ci siamo, uh, come si dice, eh, guardati e affezionati subito. Avete fatto bene, bravi. Eh. No, no, è, è lei che ha fatto bene a venire. Mi sta dando così tanto felicità. And this is our room. We've got a nice sofa, lovely bed. Questo sono io. A lovely husband. <laughs> <laughs> Little desk there. I haven't looked in the bathroom yet. And look at the view. This is our view. And this is called a partial sea view. Not bad, huh? Right, let's go out and explore the seafront. Hoi! Si, what are you doing? I've got a jumbo, but I'm going to what are you doing? Eh? You want to go for bookies? Should you go for bookies? You don't believe me, do you? Yay! Andiamo! Let's go and explore Rapallo by night. There's our hotel, the Astoria. And we are now going to walk all along the seafront here. And here Carlo is already planning to come and live here. He likes it here and he's already looking for houses. We are having a wander around the town centre. Elizabeth is on the phone. Who's she hanging around? She's actually in Vienna at the moment. Con te, io non ho capito niente allora. Ciao. Mmm, wow. Carlos had to go and take a phone call. Which is a shame because it means I get all the food. Warm focaccia with melted cheese and onion. Mm. <laughs> Early morning. I feel like I'm already in the south of France, but we are in Ravenna still. <laughs> Mi sento che sto già in Francia. Sì, è molto, è molto bello qua. È un po' assomiglia anche a Positano, come che ci sono le montagne eh, sì. e il mare. Molto carino. Obviously, arriving in the dark, we didn't really see it very well, but... Okay, we're standing in the middle of a car park. Maybe not the best place to show you. And just behind the seafront, there's this little river and there's these beautiful old buildings the other side of it. So Carlo did ask yesterday and Brepallo has a hundred thousand residents. So Postana has three thousand eight hundred so there's obviously a lot lot bigger here.
breakfast? Yeah, <laughs> andiamo. Questo a casa non succede quasi mai che vado a fare una passeggiata prima di fare colazione perché... Because we have a cat flap. Eh. And obviously here we don't have a cat flap and somebody needs to go to the bathroom. Non stavo parlando di Holly, stavo parlando di me che sono andato a fare una passeggiata prima di colazione. Dovevo camminare la mattina a posto di quelle scale. Qui uh, è, è, è bello camminare. Very, yeah, flat. it's lovely. Such a novelty for us to walk somewhere flat and easy. And our hotel is right here. How was breakfast? Ah, buonissimo. Did you enjoy watching your car while eating your breakfast? Sì, è davvero bello. Quando cambieremo casa voglio una casa con un vetro davanti, parcheggio fuori, quindi posso fare colazione e guardare la mia macchina. Penso che ci sia una differenza enorme tra guardare la macchina qua e sapere che sta a un chilometro di distanza a piedi per andarla a prendere. Più 465 scale. We are just packing up, ready to move on to our next destination. Today we have plans of not going very far at all. We're only going about three hours down the road, but we're going to slowly drive along the coast into France. We're going to stop off in two or three places along the way. And then tonight we're staying with a friend. One of those friends that I've never actually met before. I'm sure we've all got them these days, internet friends. So I made friends with this person on Instagram and she also has a YouTube channel and her name... Actually, let's just wait and see. No, venga! <laughs> Part of Italy up near the Genova area there's loads of these tunnels so there's not much of a view to look at and then when you come out the tunnels there's walls and you can't see anything anyway which is annoying this is Lex Ponte Morandi quello che purtroppo è caduto giù quindi hanno rifatto uno nuovo and back into a tunnel boring We are just coming off the motorway to go to San Remo and I just had a mini panic. I just had a mini panic because I was like, hang on, wait, do we want to go to San Remo? Do we want to go to Ventimiglia or do we want to do this or do we want to do that? And we had about a kilometre of time to decide where to go and what to see. We're going to go to San Remo and then we're going to drive along the coast. Hello, how are we were? <laughs> We're going to go along the coast to Ventimiglia, which means we'll be crossing the border on the coast road. <laughs> I give up. What I was trying to say was we'll be crossing the border between Italy and France on the coast road, which is not really much of a border control at all. There's hardly any sign that you're crossing a border, but um, from there we'll go on to Monte Carlo, which is like Positano with skyscrapers. Siamo a Sanremo, la città dei fiori ed è anche la città dove fanno il festival della canzone italiana. Andiamo a vedere com'è. C'è un grande porto qui e c'è una serie di piccoli caffè e bar tutto il giorno. C'è anche un casino. 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 Voglio andare a vedere, sto cercando sulla mappa dov'è. I have found the shopping street and look what a surprise Giacomo is in San Remo too <laughs> Questo è il creato Aristo So che non sembra niente di che a guardarlo così ma vi assicuro che dentro è bellissimo se non mi credete visto che siete su YouTube andate a cliccare Teatro Ariston festival della musica italiana e lo guardate in fact we would have liked to go inside and show you but as it says here that is actually being dressed for the festival which happens at the beginning of uh, January I think in questi giorni mi ha chiesto dove 
dove non puoi portare il tuo cane? Ecco, al teatro Ariston non puoi portare il tuo cane. <ride> Of course we've arrived at one, which is when all the shops close, which is my luck, that always happens whenever I go anywhere with shops. I get there just in time for them to close. Which I must say is one of the things that I find most frustrating about Italy is that everything still shuts between one and four and I totally get the fact that people want to go home and have pasta and have a break, but it can be very frustrating when that's your only time to go out and get the shopping done. <laughs> We are currently in Ventimiglia, just half an hour down the road from San Remo. This is the last town. This is right on the border between France and Italy. And we're sort of looking for somewhere to eat, but I don't think we're in the right area. Here we found somewhere to eat. This is called La Sirena, and we're right on the seafront, which seems to be very empty and abandoned. There's a whole river that comes out right here and joins the sea right in front of us. Obviously being winter, the beach is extremely empty, but we're right on the seafront here. We've been very naughty. We've got a fried mixed fish and a lovely big salad. towards Monte Carlo and apart from the rather noisy road look how similar Monaco is to the Amalfi Coast apart from the skyscrapers down there in Monte Carlo very similar indeed Carlo is now going to fulfill one of his dreams and drive the circuit of the Formula Uno Last time we drove through here, I was driving, so I got to drive the circuit in Monaco, but now it's his turn, if we can find it. I'm not actually sure whether we're on it or not. Si va nell'altra direzione, però. Ah. Sì, da lì verso qui. tunnel che fanno nella direzione sempre opposta si sì. questo è bello prima ah, correva qua bellissimo quando fanno loro non c'è traffico <ride> We're back on the motorway and we're heading towards Nice now in the south of France. We're going to go and visit Fern and Brian. If you don't know who they are, I will introduce to them. I was just reminding Carlo of Fern's family's names, everybody's names, and we might have a little problem here. So there's Fern. Fern. Ryan. Ryan. Nancy. Nancy. And Seth. 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 <laughs> I don't know. Ci rinuncio, no? So dire. Seth. 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 Do you Let's think about this, right? Because we've not vlogged all day and now it's the night time. Like, no, I've been vlogging all day. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. And I did say I was going to Okay. Um, 
here we are at Fern and Ryan's house. Now, if you don't follow Fern and Ryan, they have a YouTube channel as well. We are in the south of France. We are very near. Where are we near? <laughs> We're in between Nice and Cannes. Up in the hills. Yeah. Up in the hills between Nice and Cannes. And they have been living here for a year now. Uh, in this house for one year. Yes. Yeah. In France for two. In France for two years. And this is a beautiful house. I'm going to show you the Christmas trees that are each side of you at the moment. They are absolutely stunning. And um, we've come to visit them, and hopefully we'll come again, and hopefully we'll convince them to come to Positano too. But if you want to see what life is like in this part of the world, go and follow Fern. I'll leave all the links in the description box below the video, and I'll put up a little link here as well. So we're going to spend the next few hours with them, we're going to have fun, we're going to eat, and we will see you later. Bye everywhere! Oh, bye! <laughs> oh, bye! Bye, <laughs> bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> Oh,